Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my car. So I'm sitting outside of a Kohl's. Kohl's, okay, so last week, let's back it up. Last week we did Torrid, uh, a little bit pricey. I know I did polls and stuff before swimsuit Saturday and the majority of y'all are willing to spend up to 50 bucks on a swimsuit. And I agree with that. I feel like 50 bucks is still a lot of money, but if you can get a good swimsuit, were golden. So I want to go into Kohl's and see what they have. They seem to be, from my past videos and just my experience shopping here, they seem to be a little bit more affordable. Plus Kohl's does a lot of sales and stuff like that. So we're going to go in and see what they have. I don't know if the fitting rooms are open. If they're not, I guess we're buying some stuff and we're taking it home. But more stores in my area are starting to open up their fitting rooms again. So hopefully we can just try them on in store. I don't need to bring any home with me. Like I have so many swimsuits. Um, but if there's something that I just love and that I just have to have, then we'll bring it home. As always with these types of videos, my measurements are listed in the description box down below. I will also go on Cole's website and find all of these swimsuits and link them down below in case there's something that you saw that you loved and that you just have to have. It will be linked down below. I can't always find everything, but what I can find, I will link down below as well. Um, I'm excited swimsuits. I say this a lot, but I just, I live in a warmer climate. Swimsuits, I just own a lot. I wear them a lot. I enjoy trying on swimsuits. Um, so, Plus I curled my hair for this, this morning. <laughs> so let's go in. Okay, so here's the women's plus size. Ooh, let's see if they even have swimsuits. Uh-oh, I don't, ooh. <laughs> I don't see any. I wonder if they have them maybe in a different section. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see if I can find them somewhere else. Oh my gosh, they sell Nike Plus. Look how cute these shorts are. How cute is this? We are going to Disney. With some bike shorts. Would be so cute. Okay, I spot swim over there. They do have quite a big selection. Let's see if they have plus size over here. No. There's one 3X and something. Are we just kicking it off with the best, y'all? Black swimsuits must be my thing this season. So this one is that everyone, every brand in a size 2X. I love, love, love all of the wrap detail. So it's across the chest, across the stomach, sort of a flat bottom, full back with adjustable straps. This one fit absolutely perfect. I do feel like there's a bit of tummy control or something happening in it because it was a little bit snug to get on, but I feel like this is such a gorgeous swimsuit. Black swimsuits, apparently, like I mentioned this season, are just something that's happening for me. I feel like I need all the black swimsuits. This one, gorgeous, fit, everything about it, I love. It did have um, some padding in it, but it was sort of like sewn in padding. There's a look at the back and my like happy dance because I do like it. I also like the super thick straps. Like I mentioned, they are adjustable, but they just feel really, really comfortable. Everything about this, thumbs up for me, I think is just absolutely perfect. This one, uh, a bit of a fail. So this one's also in a size 2X, the same brand, but it was flipped over. Um, it does have straps that you can hook. I like the pattern. I like the knot detail. I love a good strapless swimsuit. This one was almost like, I feel like someone tried it on and it sort of got flipped out. Like maybe it's been pulled on quite, quite a bit from people trying it on and that's why it won't sit properly. It did have the uh, silicone or rubber bit across that top so that it would stick to your skin. But for some reason, it was just a little bit off. But I love the silhouette and the look of a strapless swimsuit. This blue color with the pattern I think is really, really pretty. Now the back of this one, I am alone. So it was hard for me to really reach around and yank it up as high as I want. And that tells me that's probably not for me because when am I gonna have someone with me at all times to help me put on a swimsuit? Chances are not as often as I would like. 
This one, I love a good ruffle swimsuit as well. So I liked the darker uh, colors of this uh, with the big green leaf, the peach flower. Now it does also, I was just showing you, it has straps that you can also put on if you so choose. This ruffle seemed a bit short. Am I the only one? You know, a lot of times the ruffles are a bit longer, but this one just seemed a little bit short. So it does extend all the way around the front to the arms and then into the back, which you'll see in a second, I had some issues untucking the ruffle back there. It goes back to me being alone. But this one, I like this one. It's different, like I mentioned with the color pattern. It did have a bit of a shelf bra built in with the padding, so it was sort of like a separate uh, bit to the swimsuit versus the pads sewn in. There I'm showing you the back. The ruffle does extend all the way around. I just, I couldn't get it untugged. This one, cute, not a favorite, but I feel like a lot of y'all will like this with the color scheme that's happening. Okay, let's do bottoms first. These are that every one brand in a size 3X, ruched sides, high-waisted black bottoms. They were a bit baggy in the bottom, um, so I'd probably like a size smaller, but I grabbed these, you'll see them with several different tops. So these I feel like are a staple. I have black bottoms that I pair with a bunch of different things. This first top, oh, I'm showing you, it was so hot in that fitting room. I like sweat dripping and just collecting under my mask. So this one is the brand Croft & Barrow. I'm pretty sure is correct. So the tankini part on your stomach was mesh and then it opened up. I've never tried one on like that before. I thought it was really, really pretty. I love the knot detail on the bust. It opened up, it had the thicker straps, it did have uh, padding sewn into it. This is really, really cute, y'all. I love the mesh, like I mentioned how many times already. It's just not something that I've tried on before. Higher back, adjustable straps. This one overall, gay. I would give this one like an eight out of 10. I liked it. Um, it was a little bit snug right under the bust on my stomach, but other than that, I liked the floral pattern. I like the tankini option, and I know a lot of y'all like it too. So let's do this one. They call this one a crop tankini top, I guess, because it's a little bit longer. The square neck speaks to me. I just love this square neck look, this color pattern for the tropicalness of it. I really, really liked. This one was in a size 2X, fit me really, really well. It's got the padding sewn in once again. I just thought this was really, really fun. It reminds me of Hawaii for some reason, just the whole vibes. Plus, if you've got a pair of solid bottoms like these black ones, you can buy a bunch of different tops, you know, spend your money on one pair of bottoms, five different tops, and you've got five completely different looks. Say you're going on vacation or something like that. So the back of this one did have a hook closure. Um, I, I'm sweating still. <laughs> uh, fit me fine all the way around. Super, super thick adjustable straps. I think those are the thickest straps that I've tried. And I like that. All right, last but certainly not least, this one, they don't tag it as animal print, but it kind of reminds me of animal print. So this one is also that sort of wrap style tankini. It's not mesh, but it fits sort of the same way as that other one. The bust of it does have the padding sewn into it. The back is a bit of a crisscross. You'll see in a second. I like the open front. I thought it was really, really pretty. Again, not really like nor other tankinis I've tried in the past that are just a a basic tank top style. I thought this one was nice. I just, I don't know. It reminded me of animal print and you know, I'm drawn to it. I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> I hope you can see it. Can you? You can a little bit. Um, okay. So this one, the back, the crisscross, really, really pretty adjustable straps, super thick adjustable straps. This one overall was really fun. And I feel like the longer tankini top uh, is something that a lot of y'all really like too. I didn't spot too many shorts. That's something else that a lot of y'all request is shorts. Uh, they, I didn't spot any that were like a high-waisted short that I would love. That I would love. So we're doing this, this go round instead. The longer tankini tops, I think, are really, really pretty. And they're cute too with like just a regular pair of denim shorts. Could be nice. Is this our ritual? Get in the car and blast the air. I swear they didn't have the AC on in that store. You saw the sweat dripping. My hair 
was like stuck to the back of my neck. Everybody in there was just sweating. I wonder if they're having AC problems. It's 90 something degrees outside. Okay, so let's talk final thoughts. They didn't really have a lot to choose from and most things were that every EVR and then the number one. So every one brand, I guess is how you say it. But I feel like they had some really cute stuff. That black swimsuit by far was my absolute favorite of the entire haul. However, we know I don't need, let me turn that AC down so you can hear me. I don't need another black swimsuit, chapstick time. But regular price was $65 and I wanted to see like how much on sale it was. It was $54.99, I think. Um, so not a lot off, but it was such a really nice swimsuit, nice quality. I loved the wrap detail. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go online and see if they're having deals and discounts and stuff. I'm pretty sure they are. Like I mentioned, Kohl's is always doing some sort of discount. So um, hopefully, you'll see this soon though. So hopefully everything's discounted and is a decent price for you if you did like something. I liked um, the black bottoms with all the different tops because I already own black bottoms, so I wouldn't need to buy new ones. But for me, it's nice just to be able to buy different tops to kind of mix and match. Like that square neck one, the, the square neck, like smaller top was really, really cute. I did like, one of them was that Croft and Barrow, Craft and Barrow, I always get that mixed up. That brand in a size 2X, fit true to size. I love that the bottom of the tankini was mesh. I thought that was really, really pretty. Off the shoulder swimsuits, I always love, um, but that black one just stands out. I just think it was so cute. Most things I was wearing in a size 2X, with the exception of the last top and those black bottoms were in a size 3X. I think I'm more of a size 2X in that every one brand also Croft and Barrow, Craft and Barrow, Barrow. Um, and my measurements are down below, like I mentioned in the beginning, so that can help you figure out what size you think you may need. I'm typically a size 20 or a size 22. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, maybe we can petition for them to get their AC working for next time. I should have gone back and gotten some Nike shorts, but I really don't need them, but they're so hard to find those like running tempo shorts that I really like in plus size. I used to be able to get them from Dillard's of all places and then Dillard's quit selling them in store, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's rare to see them in Kohl's but maybe they're cheaper online. I'll look online and see if they're cheaper there. All right, so that's a wrap. If you did like this video, did I already say this? Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Another Swimsuit Saturday done, and I'll see y'all on Tuesday.